So these pieces fit really precisely here, and there's just enough lip off the top and bottom there to hold in this light box that I initially constructed. Of course, once this is done, I will be gluing it into place, but back to the problem is that how to house some almost 50 LEDs in this small space. They will fit three millimeters, three of them per section, so that won't be a problem. But the wiring and confusion that could happen off of so many LEDs so close together is what has me trouble. Of course, this solution here from Fedoratron is definitely a really nice one. It's a little too large to fit in properly, but it's really close. This was just a prototype that Elliot sent me to uh, mess around with. And the LEDs do in fact work here, but I don't know that my uh, eyesight and drilling abilities really live up to this level of thing. But if this interests you, head over to Fedoratron and see what you can do with uh, the sort of stuff that he's making. There's also this mask as well, which he cut custom for it. And like I said, it's a little too large, but it really gives a really solid masking for behind here as well. And that brings us back to wiring up the LEDs. So pretty much what I'm going to do is at least start up a few test ones and we'll get out the reference here. So I'm going with white, yellows, white, yellows, reds. and orange if it's really different than the yellows. So let's wire up some, uh, start with yellow. And actually what I'll do is yellows and orange so we can see the exact difference. And we may as well get the whites ready as well. I'll we'll need three of each to start with. Now the idea here is not to be overwhelming with the colors. I've got a 10K resistor on each of these LEDs and uh, they are about halfway towards the light right about here. They could get a lot closer but for the way this is set up right at the moment that's not too bad at all. In fact there we go. So I've got a little bit of a short on one of them. But that's definitely not very powerful, and with all the other ones in there, I think this is definitely going to be the level of light that I'm looking for. The one disappointing thing is that the light from an angle doesn't reach all the way to the surface. But it does have some texture back there, which is what I was looking for, and uh, it's definitely a good look. I may put another resistor on all of them. So each one will have its own 10, but then I may split another 20 between all three of them for 16 each, just to bring the intensity down a little further. But I really need to get several sections of light in there, none of which, this is orange, and this is definitely going to go down in one of the lower rungs, but I want to work on the top row right now and work my way down but maybe working the way up from the top would be the better way to go. Hmm. Okay, so I've just made this doodad here, which is a set of three LEDs. I've wired all the negative leads to themselves, and I have wired all of these to the resistors and then tangled those up at the end. I do need to separate one solder bond because these can't have crosstalk going on. That should do it. <clears throat> Ow. 
always remember this stuff is hot. So at this point, this really isn't conducive to shrink wrap, heat shrink, of course. Let's just get a tube out here. Well, that's not too bad, actually. Let me do a uh, quick test, and then I'll, depending on what that says, I'll show you what else I was going to do. So with this I'll be able to push them straight up to the front. That's not too much overhang going on here. In fact, I can cut off. Now the battery quit on me, or rather the memory card filled up. I cut this piece off. It fit pretty good overall. But in this case I have some stuff called Captain Tape, K-A-P-T-E-N. And it looks like solid brass, or copper tape at least, but it's actually this yellow stuff which is highly heat resistant and uh, also electrically non-conducive. So what I did was take a bit of it, wrap this up nice and tight. This is much more form fitting than the uh, heat shrink and uh, because it takes up less space it's going to be easier to fit in overall. So I got to make a whole bunch of these. There's a little room here to label it so that's a set of orange right there. And basically I got to do a whole bunch of sets of different colors. So I'm looking at five sets of three whites uh, coming up and five sets of three yellows as well. I've got one set of yellows and one set of whites here. So basically I'll set them up just like I did the other one. That's all there is to that. This tape does pick up fingerprints real easy. So I imagine that hinders the uh, glue factor. So you should probably touch it as little as possible. There we got some yellows. Those are going to look nice. 